Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am redoing my nails. I'm kind of doing an infill using the dual forms. So I've filed everything off. Now I didn't take away all the lifting which is really, 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 really naughty and I'm already aware of that so you don't need to tell me that I didn't do that. You don't need to tell me that I should have done that because I know I should have done that. So please, for anybody in the future, take away all the lifting before you do this. I am however not going to be keeping these on for very long because I want to redo them completely so yeah so basically on that little finger I just went in and infilled it as you would normally infill there wasn't really that much lifting on it and I didn't really have to take away that much if that makes sense so that one was definitely easier for me to literally just infill it like a regular infill I'm using Nail Nails Cameo again for this with their Max Adhesion. And now for this one, as you can see, I put the I put the acrylic into the poppet or the dual form. Kind of as you would, but mainly putting it at the cuticle and just a tiny, really thin layer all the way up. But I wanted to make sure that the whole of the nail was covered because I wanted to have that smooth effect if that makes sense so really I really held it down at the cuticle and made sure it was really stuck down at the cuticle and then pushed it along so it all went all over the nail now with this one I thought I want to see if I can just paint it on kind of as if you were almost doing a regular infill but I'm then going to use the dual form place that over the top so that we still have that smooth effect basically for me it's a, it's a matter of not having loads of filing to do which I'm not the best at application and I have a lot of filing to do so doing these on myself is really really good it's much quicker and easier for me and I'm just doing my regular practicing of building a nail on my practice hands so I scrape away any excess as you can see it's very very similar to just a regular dual form application which if you want to see that video it will be on my channel somewhere like quite a few videos away and then I thought I'd carry on and just doing it this way. You can do it either way. You can either paint it onto the nail and then put the dual form on, or you can apply it into the dual form and then put it onto your nail. The one thing about this I will say straight away is that these did end up pretty, pretty thick. These nails are very, very thick. I didn't file enough away and using the dual form you if you're going to infill like this you're going to end up with pretty thick nails so as you can see there i'm just kind of squishing it so that it fills the entire nail because i wanted it to be nice and smooth i hope this is making some kind of sense and yeah i'm basically just doing the same thing for all the nails and it does work i've had these on now for i think nearly two weeks and i'm going to take them off and redo them I'm gonna have a full soak off and then like another full set of dual forms. I can't wait. So that video will be coming very, very soon. But yeah, I mean, it's totally up to you guys how you do it. Please do let me know down below. Anyone else who does this like regularly, please let me know. I'm loving the dual forms though. Like they're making my life so much easier, when it, especially when it comes to doing my own nails. So yes. But yeah, just the same thing. I guess I could have just left it like that, but I wouldn't have had as smooth of an effect. To be fair, that's probably pretty smooth anyway. Like, I don't know. But you, I, I just don't think that I'm that great at applying it. And I love the really perfectly smooth, perfect effect that you get from using the dual form. So yeah. Actually, from the looks of it, I don't think I did put a dual form on the thumb there anyway. So I, I'm able to do it, but y'all know what I'm saying. Anyways, I then would just go over and file all of the nails until they were the shape and everything how I want them. So this is going to be a gel polish design and once I've filed and buffed away all the surface shine from the nails I'm going in with these Gelux colours here just like a dark blue, a light blue and I thought it was pinky but it came across more redder but I was happy with it anyways. So basically I'm doing the marble, I'm obsessed with marble right now, I love it so much. Just taking the polish and just like blobbing it where I want it. Try and not like let them touch and if they do all you need to do is like 
Oh, the dogs are barking at something. All you need to do is just like dab it off on some tissue before you put it back into the polish because you don't want to like mix the colors up. Do you know what I'm saying? Also, I would advise if you're using a darker color like this, you literally need the tiniest bit because I did find that it was like kind of an overload when I used too much of the darker color. Just letting you guys know. And yeah, I'm just taking this brush and just swirling all the colours together. It's so, so easy, but I do think it's so effective. I absolutely love gel polish marble. It's my favourite way to marble, like over doing like acrylic marble. I just love gel polish marble. So yes, I'm just basically doing this on a few of the nails and then I will come back and tell you the rest. So after doing my chosen marble ones, I'm then just going in with a no wipe top coat. This is the blue sky no wipe top coat. I really like this top coat, it's really good. And I'm just going over the other nails with that and then I will cure. I've obviously already cured the marble nails as well. And then once that's all cured, I'm then going in with this Hollow Chrome Pigment. I got this one from Nail Nails and I think it's really, really good. So I'm then basically just gonna buff this into the nails and I love these like chrome powder things. If you wanted to put this over a normal top coat, it would be a little bit more, I think like hollowy and glittery, which I really do like that effect. But when you use it this way, it's like more of a mirror shine hollow. It's so beautiful. I love either way, like I love both effects. Just love it. So yeah, basically just buffed it in loads and loads and loads. You could, if you wanted to do um, another coat, so put the top coat on again and then put it in again. But I just, I was happy with the effect that I got just from that one go. 
so go over that with your no wipe top coat and then cure I'm then taking the gel residue wipe off solution and rubbing like all of the sticky layer off of this nail here now we are gonna see a slight mistake that I made on this bit it's nothing major but you guys will be able to see on the middle finger of my other hand I used a brush to do this and I'm basically taking the no wipe top coat and I'm just like kind of just putting like a marbly pattern on with the no wipe top coat now you must make sure that you've got all of the sticky layer off the rest of the nail first otherwise the chrome powder that we are going to go in with in a minute will stick to that as well which kind of happens here but I definitely found using the dotting tool worked better because on, on my other hand I used the brush and it just ended up with quite thick not very I didn't like the look if that makes sense you can see it there on my other finger and I will show you at the end but I definitely preferred I got thinner lines using the dotting tool and I just think it looked a lot better so once you've done that you're going to cure it and then take the chrome powder and rub it into that now if you've got like on my other finger I must have got all the no wipe off and it worked perfectly and none of it stuck to the rest of the nail only where I put the no wipe lines if that makes sense on this one I, it did go on the rest of it but I managed to wipe it off most of it using a uh, just using like a q-tip and some water or some gel wipe off solution I guess it does wipe off the rest of it but yeah I'd just say give it a really really good wipe before you go in because it will stick to that nail you know what I'm saying I hope that makes some kind of sense so then I'm just going in with my nail nails top coat which I love my urban graffiti top coat and I'm just going in over all of the nails and then obviously I will cure Wipe off with the wipe off solution, apply cuticle oil, do all of that beautiful, jazzy, amazing, fantastic stuff that we nail techs love to do. And this is the finished result. I really like these nails. I just love marble and I'm loving hollow. So hollow and marble. Look, you can see on that nail, I just wasn't feeling it. It didn't look, I just didn't like the way that it looked. But on my thumb, I think it definitely looked a lot better and if I could have just managed to like wipe off the rest of the sticky layer it would have been fine. Anyway if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and I love you guys so so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye!